Hello everybody and welcome along to the Limerick Historical Society um, History Programme. Is it a programme or is it a show? I often wonder that, you know. Anyway, uh, first of all, welcome Tom. You're welcome. Thank you, Tony. Thank and, you, Tony. Uh, um, well, I have to do my little bit of uh, promo first now. It's written out here in front of me on a sheet of paper. Uh, this the Limerick Historical Society, I said that. We're on lairmedia.tv. If anybody wants to get in touch or see what we're doing, and you can go then to you, uh, that's the YouTube channel, which is just Lear Media TV. And don't forget to subscribe by pressing the button down in the corner of your screen, the right hand uh, corner of the screen. Just press the button as a subscriber, and it's free in case you think you're going to be billed next week or next month. You won't, anyway. To get along tonight's program, Tom, uh, as usual, we kind of waffle along, we jump from one thing to another, which is kind of handy at times. Yeah, people more of an interest rather than sticking to one thing, really. Yeah, but, you know. Yeah. Um, was, I was. Sorry, um, go on. What are you going to say? Oh no, I was. I was looking at the census there during the week, and I was struck by the number of street changes, even from 1911, have changed, because in 1911 the British were very confusing. Yeah. And and since the British left, we put in a lot of uh, saints and patriots in instead of the old names, you know. Um, so it's it's interesting, but I mean, I suppose you need to know about the development of the city, you know, because people. Someone asked me there recently about Newtown. Why, why was uh, Newtown Perry, Newtown Mahan, and New Street? You know, the, like they didn't realise that that's all part of a new development. You know that. Well, they don't, you know. and some people think it's a new street that uh, thing that's been broken through last week or. A yeah. month ago, you know, there's a it's hard to believe. Well, New Street up and as a lot of yeah. people know, off um Punch's Cross heading on to the South South Road. That yeah. was um the new it was it was a new street, but they yeah. never kind of got around to give me the name. Yeah. Because yeah. you know, that, there's a street now between Sarsfield Street and uh and, and the keys below. Yeah. They, 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 there was a debate over that what to call that piece of an extension that was put on, and that's relatively new. People don't realize Liddy, that. Liddy Street. Liddy it? Street, yeah. But I don't yeah. think it'll ever be called Liddy Street. No. People just say it's the street off, 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 yeah. off Sarsfield Street. That yeah. kind of, uh, will it ever get? But there's really, are there any many shops on it? About three, I think, or, or two or three. Well, when Duns was there, they called it the street in, outside Duns, you know. People yeah. Passed, yeah. yeah. But, uh, you know, some streets, and even in country areas, new places get names, and they never, they never, they never take. You know, people, crossroads. Like I, I, I remember my neighbour talking to me about. Uh, I was telling him I went into town. I took him into a funeral, and he said, "Are you going up to Clyde?" And I didn't know what he meant. And it's only years yeah. later I saw the Clyde Shipping Company on the National Rusks. Yeah. To me, it was the National Rusk building, and uh, he always referred to that as the Clyde. Clyde um, here. Yeah, just yeah. called. Yeah, the Clyde Hill Animal would be called now. A uh, yeah. woman that lived inside. There was this this family. There were actually two families lived inside in ranks, in the yard inside. Yeah. Uh, one family were the Gales, actually, to be um, the, 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 the TD, the Jan Sullivan, to be yeah. her grandparents now, as far as I know. Yeah. That lived yeah. in one house. And right across the yard, and you're right up at the very back, you were up nearly into the Redemptorist Church. The, yeah. the yard was so long. And mm -hmm. the other family were the O'Briens. There were two brothers and a sister who lived in that house. And the O'Briens drove a truck. Well, one of them drove a truck for ranks. And the Gales, I don't know what their actual position was, but they were mm -hmm. across a massive yard, a huge yeah. yard, where trucks would turn, you know, where all the, really, first of all, the horses were there when they were, yeah. or they got trucks. And then they, they, they got the, the, the trucks afterwards. But these two families were there, and I remember uh, Emmy was one of Emmy, Emmy O'Brien. She always referred to it now. She'd say in conversation, I was walking up the Clyde Hill. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah, yeah. She'd say, yeah. What's, she, yeah. what's she talking about? Where's the yeah. Clyde Hill, which is now Alphonse Street? I suppose yeah. to be known of, the about the houses that are on it. And when yeah. I was a child, there on a Sunday, there wouldn't be a soul, not a sinner around there, because every... Mm. McMahon's timber yard was closed. The Sharon yeah. Foundry was there. That was closed. Mulroney, the fruit importers, that was mm. closed. Everything was yeah. shut on Sundays. Yeah. And there would be a sinner around there, you know. Mm. 
uh, to mm. the big houses inside in my man's yard. Yeah. You know? So in uh, in where the, the Shannon Foundry used to be. You know. You see, people forget there was nothing between the back of the Redemptorist Church and and the dark row the, and ranks. Oh. Nothing oh. really ranks we McMahon's in ranks because yeah. McMahon's on most of the property there. Even where the and post is now, that really is, is Francis Bates yard. That wasn't yeah. kind of you have to move down a bit now to where ranks started. But yeah. the, the, the mills were there and you could drive in. I remember uh, Spade, Francis Spade, that was there up to the 70s with Francis mm. Spade, which was owned by McMahon's. It was one yeah. and there was the store in that side. But McMahon's was a huge concern. They yeah. did most of uh, of one side of, of Val Francis Street coming down yeah. to where National Rusk was. And that's all going to change now because little or idle, whatever way you want to pronounce yeah. it, they're supposed to be moving in there now to a huge, a huge store. Yeah. And that will completely transform the dark road again. You know, well, I was looking at ne next door then, I was looking at the uh, census. There was a, a scales woman killed in 1920. Uh, she was shot. Accidentally, I think she was with a policeman that they robbed the policeman. But I was I was doing some research on uh, the family, and um, Sean Liston was asking me about them. But her her people, the scales were her father was involved in the railway, and her the the station master in Fines was a cousin again, another scales. But they moved from Fines. They were intimidated actually because there was trouble with the black and tans there. But they moved in to Frederick Street. And I had to look up. I I, I couldn't remember. I, I know it was in Murtaugh Street, but uh, yeah. it's there where the gas company is. And oh, that's yeah. around there. It was there where she was shot. Sorry, because you know, I remember the family scales now. They lived in the wine mill, so they must be connected. The same one? Mrs. Yeah. Yeah, Mrs. Scales, who lived when you, said the, when you said the wine mill, she might have been giving yeah. me the rest of the street, like, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Because yeah. I remember Mrs. Scales, because to me, it was an unusual name at the time. Yeah. And uh, yeah. I do uh, remember um, Joseph Maloney's sister, who was who turned out to be Nocton. She was a Mrs. Nocton. And mm -hmm. it's very confusing in names. You yeah. call people by their, their own names. And yeah. there are people years ago, they still went by their old names. Well, still, yeah. they do. I refer to a lot of people now with their old names. And people don't yeah. know what they're talking about. It's very mm -hmm. confusing. But I remember mm -hmm. her talking about this Mrs. Nocton, talking about uh, Mrs. Scales. Mm. Uh, underwind because they lived underwind the which was really uh, I can't even think of the avenue they lived in now which at Nocton's place it was a Nocton's place which yeah. was Nocton's lane really and of course the lanes have been changed they're like we call them lanes anymore you know? oh, no, no. School, yeah you don't know if it's called schoolhouse lane now and yeah. people wanted to get away from the, the lane bit you know yeah, and yeah, yeah. Have, uh, a little up market you know but uh, yeah. it's a man complaining to me one time because I called my place an estate. And he says, don't call it an estate. Call it mm. another name. He, he didn't know the name. It's like we discussed before. It's like the, the, the industrial estates are no longer industrial estates. No. The, bus no. the business, business, business parks. Business yeah, parks. Yeah. yeah, kind of. Uh, no, and, uh, enterprise. it's enterprise now. It's <laughs> enterprise. <laughs> It kind of brings you up market, isn't it? You know, yeah. very bad to the Clyde Hill. That general area, even where um where Dolan's pub is now, there yeah. were there were three pubs there, I remember, along in a row before you come to Mollocks and the, the Carrigan, with the Carrigan, which was yeah, well see um, that, luckily enough years ago you never got people to change names. Yeah. When new owners come along. They don't mm. like the name. It, it confuses the whole issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the street names. Like you mentioned Frederick Street there now. You know, if you yeah. look at Frederick Street, you forget like that is, uh, what did I say, O'Curry Street. O'Curry Street, yeah. yeah. Okay. And it kind of gives you the year then you can figure out there was a change in names and well, after, we, well, as people would say, we got our freedom yeah. uh, uh, when the name change came about. But some of them never changed. It's amazing. Oh. I mean, Bedford Row, Bedford to me is one that you'd imagine they would have changed Bedford Row. Yeah, yeah. You know, after the Duke of Bedford. Like, I was, like where did Frederick come from? Somebody, somebody said it was a, one of the Perry family. No. Uh, and I don't think it was. And, uh, no. But there was one of the royal family called Frederick as well. So yeah, you don't know. And a lot of them come from the, a lot of them come from the, from the royal family. There's yeah. so many names have come. A lot have been it's, changed over the years. If there was a Frederick in the Perry family, but if he was Perry, they wouldn't have changed it, you know, because all the other Perry names stayed. There's only references to royal families that were really changed. Oh, yeah. You know? 
And I'm usually when uh, families, when, when we count when it happens in Dublin, it happens in lots of places yeah. where names will change because of um, politicians. <laughs> politicians are not that dead so far in yeah. changing the names, you know. Yeah. I remember the book in there. Uh, what's that, Tom? Well, uh, like Saints and, and Patriots were very popular for a while. And because a lot of corporation estates were named after Saints and Patriots, oh, uh, yeah. property, property developers wouldn't name um, any new development that they'd, they'd use these, you know, d- like downs and, you know, all these different type of... Uh, but you can, oh, yeah. You can tell even who, uh, if you see an address for any any other city, say, say Galway, for example, yeah. and you say, see it called um, after... My, I don't know, I can't give a name now this minute. You can say to yourself, yeah. the corporation houses anyway. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. Or yeah. you got a you got a private developer, he would call his uh, Wisley Downs or something. Or yeah, yeah. An awful name, you know. Well, if you see St. St. Patrick's Terrace or St. Mike, you know, entering down. In Dublin, yeah. or somewhere, which is really common, St. Attractors Road. You know? Yeah. Okay. I tell you, yeah. that's, that wasn't people making that me said. Said the practice road. You can yeah. tell straight away. Although, Mitch in Galway, I'd like to know who the person was in Galway, which is a great idea for once and praising somebody. Um, I know it's good. The roundabouts. The roundabouts, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're, they're, whoever, and people have asked me about those roundabouts. Yeah. Some of the obvious ones, some are, but there's some of the ones. The Lynch. Lynch. Oh, yeah, Ker- the Kerwins, Lynch's, yeah. Yeah, but they're, they're common ones. We'll take names like yeah. the Atties. As, yeah. is, as in Atari, a T-H-Y, yeah. the Yetis, the, the Bodkins, you know, the Brown, the Blakes, yeah. the Blakes and the Bodkins is an unusual one, you know. Dean, mm. the name that has kind of died out as well now, yeah. you know. Yeah. Font, yeah. you know, uh, of the fonts, you know. Yeah. Uh, Joyce, okay now, but you're some of the names now. Skeros isn't too bad. It's still fairly common up around that, uh, the, up the bottom now that you get a, quite a few Skeros. But uh, yeah. some of the names, like Font, for example, is, I think is really gone. I don't, I don't think there are any fancy families. That's yeah. is fairly common now, right? You know, but Dean's is gone. You know, yeah. French is fairly common now. You know, but but they're, they're, they're called after the, the 12, uh, 12, the 12 um, merchant families, the big yeah. merchant families, really. Mm-hmm. Yet is the Browns, the Blakes, uh, the Brown, uh, the Browns, the Blakes, and the Darcy's, Dean's and yeah. Darcy's. But yeah. like they said, who else is there? Fonts, French's, mm. uh, yeah. Joyce's. Uh, Kerwin's, Lynch's, yeah, uh, Martin's, uh, mm. oh God, so I can't do the rest of them, and Skerritt's, but like yeah, that. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, well, it's, it's, a great, it's a great idea because, you know, it makes people think, you know. Those of the name, yeah. The 14, you could do it. The 14 times of Galway. That they're not, yeah. that's some of the names then with, associated with Galway that you, you think would be tribes' names and they're not, you know. Yeah, Box of Big Vendors, yeah. And uh, there's families uh, on the outskirts, you know, like the Isles, as the, the locals like to call it, Isles, E Y R E, the Isles in Isles Square. They were mm-hmm. landowners as well. But the Lynches held on to it. The Lynches, uh, there's still a castle there, show, which is was a bank, a bank, yeah. Lynch's castle. Yeah. But Galway yeah. really has looked after their heritage. Yeah, well. I think Galway and Kilkenny are the. Oh, no yeah. doubt, Kilkenny, because yeah. I remember Duns when they were allowed to put up the Duns green sign yeah. in Kilkenny. Or McDonald's. Or McDonald's, yeah. yeah. But as, um, yeah. Here, I'm afraid, you know. But getting back to, to Limerick and place, some some of the street names have never have never changed. And then there's some of them obliterated altogether. Like yeah. if you ask somebody tomorrow, where's, where's Summer Street, for example? Yeah. Some of the older people would know where yeah. Summer Street is or Coogan Street. Uh, yeah. Some names have gone, and mm-hmm. when you're looking up, when you're looking Road, up, R- Roden Street now is another one. Oh yeah, but Roden, Roden Street really was changed. You see the Barrack Hill. Yeah. You know that um, Roden Street. What made that popular was, of course, was Frank McCourt. Yeah. He, when he remembered Roden, uh, Roden Lane, they lived off it, and that lane was gone completely. But they had their house. I think there's only four. There's only four streets in Limerick begin with R. You have Robert Street, Roden Street, Rutland Street. Rochester Street. Rochester Street, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Which is which one place isn't uh, isn't included? Which, uh, which Richmond Rochester. Place. But yeah. that that gives you an idea then of, of uh, what time they were done when you get Richmond, the Duke of Richmond, yeah, came to visit and you had uh, 
Lord Lester, he said Rutland, yeah. And most people didn't even know about Rutland Street. They, they nearly call it Patrick Street. You ask somebody where's the whole museum, yeah. they say, it's down in Patrick Street. You know, you yeah. forget. Or at the ski. Or at the ski. Oh, yeah. At the, uh, uh, look at Quinlan Street. Because yeah. then, you know, most of the houses in Quinlan Street give their addresses to Con- see, Again, St. Joseph's Church would like to say that on O'Connell Avenue. Yeah. You don't get up, map, you'd like, as opposed yeah. to Quinlan Street. You know, mm. it wasn't, there's only a few houses there in Quinlan Street. And even South's Pub, for example, that's yeah. really in Quinlan Street, as far as I'm concerned, because yeah. you, you had Richmond House next to that, which became the, the high school. Was the, yeah. the, the original Richmond House then was a Jesuit church where John Norris Russell lived. That's right. Yeah. People don't realize that. That, that, yeah. that, that. There was no church there. And that, that was lovely houses there. Yeah. I mean, the Jesuits demolished three lovely houses to build mm. it, that, that hall they have on the side and coming up mm. to where the school was. You forget right, yeah. that the That's Georgian right. house is there. Yeah. It's a shame, really. But well, it was. And they took away the crescent as well, didn't you see? Oh, they took away the crescent shape, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a pity. Yeah. It would be like Bath in England if it had been, if it had been left yeah. alone. I mean, you look yeah. at one side, at one side, the north side is okay, but it's yeah. the south side that has been interfered with by the, the Jesuits when yeah, they took... Yeah. The house. Imagine John Norris Russell's wife when she found out that her house had been taken over by a, uh, by 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 by. But then, well, there's a story. Whether it's true or not. I know, yeah, yeah. Kevin Hanley just gave that story about Daniel O'Connor that Norris's wife was opposed to Catholicism and opposed to um to to Catholic education. Mm-hmm. And the, the story was that they put Daniel O'Connor up, so when she looked out, she was looking at Daniel O'Connor. She's a purist to have drawn her blinds and send, yeah. was setting up. She supposed yeah. that's, that's something that she could be looked into, that the, the timing, you know, was yeah. this, you know, yeah. uh, she would have lived there approximately, I would imagine, you know, the kind of monument didn't go up till, I think, 1860, 1865, I think. It was a long time. They were deciding. I remember like, Judith Hill wrote, wrote about that. Like uh, the, they were going to put him below in uh, Connell's uh, Connel Bridge right. where the... The, the, the uh, 16 memorial is, yeah. yeah, yeah. There was a lot of sites picked up with Daniel O'Connor where to put him. There were people arguing yeah. about... But, but, you're, but you're right, there would be a real meat bust, I don't know, if you found out. You know, <laughs> and like the, I said to you before, um, like, Landau's put um, uh, cops of trees around to break from the wind and everything, and people then, so if they were what they call black Protestants or people who were anti-Catholic, they'd say, oh, they did that to... Sh- Shut up the view of the Catholic Church, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they, had, they, they maintained Lord Clarine built uh, trees around his castle to stop him, uh, the view of the, the Catholic Church. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. But I mean, but, uh, yeah. just, I mean the, 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 most of all, if you go, if you start looking at the dates, you know they're completely out of kilter. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that people say, thing, it couldn't have been even there at the time, you know, yeah. one or the yeah. other. That uh, you hear of a church, oh, yeah, it's a black church. You find out that the church didn't come till. Well, the churches yeah. really weren't, as we know them today, didn't come till really the famine times when most yeah. of the big churches were built. From that yeah. on, after 1829, after mm-hmm. Catholic emancipation, you had before yeah. that, you know, your little chapels, mainly. Yeah, and Bar- churches. Sorry, yeah, Bar- yeah. churches, yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. the one, the best known one, I think, in the area here is the one in Cretlow. Yeah. The oldest of marriages in Cretlow. Because That's I remember right. Father, what's his name, telling me, Liam, Liam Menrick, when he was out for Cretlow, the amount of marriages that he had outside in that church yeah. in Cretlow, you know, it's very, very popular for marriages. But the, 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 some priest went to knock that. There was t- trouble. He went to knock and build a new church, a modern church. I remember being on a deputation to it. Yeah. That's such a long ago when uh, he went, I can't get the priest seminar at the time. I, I can think of, I can think of, I can think of it, but he, my, he's related to my neighbour, so I can't say. Okay. <laughs> 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 so, anyway, he did, he wanted to knock that and build yeah. uh, He's a new modern church, you know. And I tell you, I, unfortunately, I know um, Charlotte Murphy goes, says, says the same thing. Like, a lot of the churches that were renovated and demolished, like, they, they, they weren't for the better, you know. A lot of yeah. lovely old churches were ruined and modern churches put up instead of them, like, you know, it's, yeah. Um, yeah. Then some I mean, of the churches, some of the churches and some of the modern churches were, were awful as well, you know, some of them. That's what I'm saying, yeah. yeah. What, 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 what they were replaced the old churches with. No, I know they might have been damp and, and yeah. like, you know, not, not suitable to modern heating and everything, but the thing was, um, 
Like a lot of those modern churches, the architects lost their own themselves and built these fancy roofs, like you, yeah, yeah. Marvel churches and yeah. big, um, huge inside and big, big echoes and uh, the whole thing is it's yeah. a, a, yeah. the old style of architecture. The thing that really stopped all that was at the building of the Holy Rosary Church. I remember a wooden church. How could you build a wooden church? Yeah, it's yeah. making me blown down, you know. And yeah. then our our little old is based on the Holy Rosary Church. Because yeah. I, I remember being up for the foundation of the Our Lady Lourdes Church was on the, the feast of the of of of, of Lourdes, the eleventh of February. And the foundation stone was was um, was was put down on the eleventh of February, 19, oh. 1958. It was the, the hundred years. Since Lewis, mm-hmm. that's right, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. right, yeah. 1950. There's loads of Marians about in 50. Oh, you can I tell know. them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Any woman is married. Yeah. It, it could be 54 as well. I think 54 was the marrying year. Marrying and 58 year. was lowered, so they could... Oh, yeah. Ones that are born in 54 could pretend to be Lourdes. Of course. Yeah. They were six years younger. But, but uh, the Holy Rosary Church is a beautiful church. You know, yeah. and it has withstood yeah. the test of time, Actually, that's said. Uh, when you go, when you like traveling around Europe as you have, and even England, so there's some fantastic churches. I mean, oh, in Italy, Italy and in you know, even in so it's like they really maintain their churches, and, and you know, the I mean, the decor there, like our, our churches are very austere, even the ornate churches here wouldn't compare yeah. to the, like if you travel around Rome, even up side streets now, little chapels, you know, yeah. and the. Or like I know a lot of people say like there's an awful lot of money spent on churches when people were starving, but you know they they are they are beautiful churches like you know. Absolutely. Um, I mean the Redemptorist yeah. Church above the architecture in the, in the Redemptorist Church. Yeah. The beautiful yeah. inside this, you know. Yeah. And even even the Jesuits and luckily enough the Jesuits yeah. had survived with yeah. the new order that came there. I can never the big long name is native. Yeah, yeah. The, the yeah. Christ the King. Or, I can yeah, never yeah. The, the, the full title of the of the priest out of there, but um. Yeah. But luckily, that was a beautiful church inside. Architecturally, well, most of them yeah. are, you know. There's, well, 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 like there's two churches. Well, there's two church. Well, there's three churches hanging on. The Augustinians is barely hanging on, and the Dominicans because of the, the Texan, the nuns from mm. Texas. Yeah, they're running that. And the, no, the order mentions in the Jesuits. Jesuits. I mean, the Jesuits was gone. They've come back, and but it's good. Like that, they're. I think they do the Tridentine Mass there. I was never there, like, but yeah, in, yeah. In, in the Jesuit church. In the, in the so, Jesuits, no. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I was talking to them, and I know one of them in particular, they're all mm. style canon, and uh, yeah. I've got to know some now over the years, but one mm. of them in particular I know better than the rest, and uh, yeah. I, I went in now once or twice in the evenings, they have benediction in the evenings at seven, and it's like going back when I was in the choir and the fathers, it's like yeah. going back to old times when the priest yeah. comes out completely covered, you know. Yeah. And it's just, even just to see, it's lovely to see. And is he facing you know? the altar? Is he facing the altar? He is, yeah, yeah, and uh, it's it's nice uh, because uh, as it's something different. You kind of it's uh, younger children wouldn't care. Well, they wouldn't know anyway. You know, no. anybody under under fifty wouldn't know. No. Whereas um, whereas uh, I would remember now the old style. And I went to a mass a few years ago in Berlin. They were no. all tuned into a church, into a Lutheran church, and of course, really, as 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 my mother would say, God forgive you for the full yeah. of my mouth. I went yeah. into mass. Just like years ago, <laughs> the priest, yeah. and the clue what he was saying, he was up in the yeah. pulpit, he would beat in the pulpit and all, you know. Yeah, yeah, he, was yeah. he was talking in German. Well, I tell you, you close your eyes, you think you're, I was back into the dentist back in, in the late 50s. Yeah. It was lovely yeah. to see. It was packed, you know, yeah. packed was going in. And uh, the only thing I didn't like, and I shouldn't, didn't like, but uh, going in was, you were searched, going in. Oh, yeah. Watching what you were bringing in. Because I was afraid of, um, of, uh, yes. Yeah, like, well, suppose really right wingers they were, yeah, they were yeah. afraid of, you know, going in. Yeah. And if you had a bag, you were to open it, going in. But uh, yeah. it, was, it was lovely that to see inside. Yeah. And, the, and the singing. And uh, yeah. the, the Luton side, you know. And uh, I thought, no, they might look around and say, look at him, you know. No, yeah, they, yeah. They, they didn't care, you know. Yeah. They were singing in the old style pulpit, pulpit up in the middle, like the Redemptorist in the yeah. middle of the church. And yeah. I remember the Redemptorist. Uh, especially when I was in the choir, now going up in the pulpit, you know, and yeah. uh, they took off the hat and put it on the bed, and yeah. oh God, you know, you, you I did the same. I did the same now in in Italy, you know, and uh, uh, like 
it, like that, that they were up, up in the pub and they were children. But I, I think I was the youngest person there. You know, I mean, it was really, I think there might be a few children, grandchildren with grandparents. Yeah. It was a bit like here, you know, I mean, there was no young people at it. But it was funny, isn't it? it was, and yeah. Times change. Yeah. Was, but they, they, they didn't abide by Vatican II, I don't think. They, they kept, kept on the old style, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, Which is yeah. A, and even when I was in, um, I'm sure enough, you know, the places I was, St. Mm. Petersburg, I will yeah. never forget the mass I went to there and the singing. And when the priest yeah. went in behind a big, oh God, um, uh, a sealed off area, and he only come out every so often, he was completely sealed off. With big, was, that was, was that Orthodox? Oh, the Orthodox, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I should say that. And yeah. the singing was fabulous. It was beautiful. Mm. Uh, uh, and males and females together. And uh, the way they, oh God, you'd often see it now in the pictures or something on television yeah. you might see. Yeah, yeah, they hear yeah, the yeah. singing and the way he came out and uh, the, the, the way they were dressed, the whole thing was uh, too lovely to see yeah, yeah. In, uh, in Russia. And uh, it, was, it was really worth really going to see if, yeah. if you were there. It, it bring you back. I suppose really to get used to the, the new wedding is different, you know, but the yeah. old way was the mysticism with the whole thing. I yeah. thought it was way better anyway. You kind yeah. of didn't know what was going on with the priest and his back. Well, I, mean, I remember in, in the 60s, um, kind of born again, there was a kind of a, a movement. Was, kind of, kind uh, of, I used to call them kind of asthmatics. They weren't asthmatics. They were, uh, Charis charismatics. Charismatics. Yeah. 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 They were all, I mean, it's a real American hug, huggy. Oh, it's right. Real Bible uh, belt stuff. Yeah. 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 I remember. <laughs> I was I was over with a girl in Dublin, and she, I think she was trying to convert me. But uh, they used to have a big meeting out in the airport, and I went there when I got the fright, the life frightened out of me. <laughs> they all shaking hands and kissing, and and like <laughs> once and once only. For sure. Uh, <laughs> well, we wonder, like, why you know yeah. some of these all, uh, evangelist things they always like to go to our right. You know, I remember a fellow in Glen told me that the. Uh, they started a, a movement of it and they decided to pro proceed up the town, up to the local church. And he said, all the locals shut their windows and drew the blinds. <laughs> They're afraid. <laughs> that they, you know. we no, no, I said, I'm afraid that they'd be affected. They might <laughs> draw them in or something. You know? <laughs> yeah. oh, but it, but it, caused, it, it caused kind of a split. Like a lot of young priests were for it, you know. Uh, even all, all the priests didn't want guitars in the church. That was a big thing. No, you know? but I would be opposed to guitars in church now. Yeah, I would personally. Yeah. Why they can't stick to the organ, I'll never know. Yeah. You know, yeah. I suppose it was a movement to get young people in, but yeah, has it worked? I wonder. You know, no. no. I think there's um, you can't beat the organ. An organ was built for a church. You know, yeah. the sound of an organ. I mean, if, you're, if you're in the cathedral now and to hear the organ, like. I was talking to a guy who's he's up from Cork. He comes up from Cork to play the organ in the cathedral here in Limerick. Yeah. And, uh, you remember the organ festival there a few years ago? Yeah. About four years ago. And I, I went remember. to I went to 99% of them. Yeah. And that was beautiful to the organ. Yeah. Being yeah. Properly, properly played like. Yeah. And not butchered. Open, not butchered. And, yeah. uh, open, as I said, pull out all the stops. You know, yeah. and uh, yeah. you hear the thing opening up. Because I remember when the, when the, when the choir and the redemptors uh, there was a father, a father Tony, I think it was from Belfast. He was over the choir, and Brendan O'Boyle, who I don't know afterwards and went to St John's Cathedral. But anyway, that's another story. But yeah. I remember they stopped the, the 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 pipes in the organ would have to be started about at least ten to fifteen minutes beforehand. Warming up, yeah. Yeah, when he'd warm it up, and you'd hear yeah. all the pipes filling up with air, and that you yeah. know before yeah. they touched it. But it was magnificent. Mm -hmm. You know, to, yeah. to hear and the, the, the hymns that we sung. I know some of the hymns are in Latin, and my Latin now I tell you, was in, I knew yeah. the start of the Tanto Melgo, all right. That was the most important yeah. part, was to know yeah. the first line, you know, Tanto yeah. Melgo, yeah. Sacramentum. But then yeah. after that, you kind of, you know, get yeah. ready for the Amen at the end, you know. Yeah. Really, yeah. Yeah. That's what, you, were, like you were never officially told the words of it. You kind yeah. of picked it up as you went along, you know, and like, you kind of sang. But like, like, like whatever told the word to some of these songs. I felt I used to take off you take off a neighbor singing the national anthem, uh, the oh, yeah. national anthem, and uh, he's called it the national anthem. But he, he 
Yes, uh, you know the first line and uh, and and the, and the last line, but he he yeah. mumble, mumble away at the rest of it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Well, there, there was a thing one time a fellow said at the end of it. He thought it was uh, at the end of the session it was a uh, chasing Connie around the field. The field yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shoving Connie, shoving Connie around the field. <laughs> oh God! But I, I was never told the national anthem to go to school. No, never. No. In all my well, as my couple of years of school, I never learned the national anthem. I think it's you know, dangerous. You know, I mean, that's something you learned at home. They didn't want to get involved in it, like you know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, I know a lot of them did now. My grandchildren, I know one of my grandchildren, and he can rattle. Oh, yeah. He can rattle yeah. it off good, you know. Yeah. And I yeah. can't. You know, I still don't know the national anthem. I'd have a good fair idea of it, you know. Yeah, I would um, from, he from hearing it, like, you know. Yeah, but, uh, you, just, that's you just pick up words. <laughs> but yeah, I was yeah. told nothing going to school about um, even big writers, you know, Joyce and oh. uh, nothing, you know. Well, uh, our, our, history, our history stopped at 1920, you know. There was no... No, like War of Independence, Civil War, First Second War, uh, Second World War, First Second War, First and Second World War. Uh, nothing, you know, nothing about the. I did a bit, a bit in the secondary. We did a bit of modern Irish history, but it was all like, I like when you think back on the history that was taught. It was just uh, kind of a formal egg stuff, and there was no, you know, there was no, like there certainly was no local history. Like the only man who ever taught us local history was Bernard Stack, who you know, and Bernard, like. He made history come alive for us. Like he, yeah, uh, you know, told us about the locals who were involved and like that. That to us, like you know, t telling us about Hitler and about uh, Stalin and like it meant nothing. But if you like, if you heard like even down to faction fights, he, he said the Rock Lynch, a local father, got his name because he was his head was so hard. Now I'm not too sure what it was actually, but that's the story anyway. But he's a famous faction fighter, and that brought the faction fights. Right, because we knew the Rock Lynch's son, so we knew that he was a, man, a local, and, and and I think because Kevin has said all history is local, and that yeah. like uh, when you and you know from going around to schools telling kids like if you tell them you know your uncle was fought in the First World War, your well nowadays to be great grand uncle or whatever, it, it gives them you know um, and, and other kids they want to know did my uncle or you know and it gives yeah for. It does. You know, uh, there even, oh, there's so many things. But then getting back to a lot of the times, it depended uh, on the teacher as well. If he, if he had been, uh, if somebody belonged to the teacher, I'm talking now, especially the 60s, the 50s and the 60s. Yes. If his father had fought in, in the War of Independence or the Civil War, especially mm. the Civil War, and his father was from from the, 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 the Republican side, or it doesn't really matter, he mm. might have told you that Michael Collins would be a Finnegan side. He told you that yeah. Michael Collins was a great man. Yeah. He was the greatest man and De Valera got him shot. Yeah. Then you went into a different class and you got the teacher from the other side who said to you that Michael Collins was only a troublemaker and De Valera yeah. was the greatest man. He, he sold out. Michael Collins sold out. And, uh, yeah. That's it. You see? Yeah. So, and you got this and you know who was who. You know, yeah. it's a shame. I mean, a man said to me a few years ago, he said to me, uh, hold on a minute now, he said, Keep one thing in mind, he says to me, you're mixing up your civil war with your war of independence. Yeah. And he, he was right. I didn't yeah. know which was which. Was which yeah. you know? So how could you? Yeah. How could you? Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I didn't mean, know that there were the, with the war of independence and then we had the civil yeah. war, which yeah, is yeah. Yeah, what happened to us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Talk to me that, Tom, just to jump a minute now for something else. There was an article on this week's leader written by uh, uh, Declan Hare of this parish, as they say, in the best places. Yeah. And uh, the shootings at Carl Gillimore. Oh, yeah, the there, was, there was, I saw something last, there was a man who was recorded back in the 50s by some Americans uh, who gave his, his memories of being there that night. It was a man, who I think he died in the 50s, 60s, but he, he told about being there, but they were tipped off. Um, basically, just to explain, it was a... Uh, uh, the Black and Tans became aware that the local IRA had a fundraiser in, in Carl Gillimore House and they raided it. And uh, like they shot some, some of the, like a lot of people got away and they, they shot them, but it was in response to an IRA attack. Uh, and um, like I haven't read the article, I have it, I have the leader. I'm right reading the leader now, but I'm sure you did. And uh, I, have, I, read I, have it. With me. I have it here now, probably come up backwards now on the television. 
but yeah. that's it there. Uh, yeah. It's called The Night a Dance Was Attacked. Yeah. And uh, it's the 100th anniversary, of course, it was the consequences of the raid in Carl Gilmore House, uh, yeah. which is uh, it's in ruins now, Carl Gilmore House. It was yeah. originally belonged to the O'Grady's. Well, again, we yeah. were the O'Grady's over in, um, in, in Kilbelly Owen, over in yeah. Brock. But this side of the family were titles. It was Viscount Gilmore. Under the Gilmore title, I think it was there up to the 50s, 1950-something, the Gilmore title mm-hmm. became extinct. Yeah. But um, they yeah, had but... The, houses, the landlords were gone, you see. People don't realise that during the yeah. happen because you'd often hear of soldiers taking over a house. Yeah. British soldiers taking over a house here during the, during the War of Independence yeah, yeah. and during the Black and Tan time. And it's a... Uh, our, the owners weren't there, they were in England. Yeah. You know, which is... That's why, they, that's why they burned a lot of the houses, because they didn't want them coming back. They wanted well, to... Yeah, uh, yeah. They wanted Just land divided, and yeah. they, they were afraid... Of, like, it wasn't anything against the house, or they didn't want... Like, it was just they wanted to burn down the house to make sure that the land wasn't restored, like, you know, to anybody. Oh, yeah. So a lot of people, it. you were able to get out, you see, you were able to get out of yeah. the country. You know, because yeah. I was only reading in this week's leader, actually, uh, last Friday, um, uh, Melissa, Melissa Brooke was buried. That's right, I saw that. She was sister the of uh, Dunraven. Yeah. Not the fact that she had been male, she had male, she'd been, she'd been the Ellen Dunraven. She yeah. had been the eldest of the family of the Quins. But uh, yeah. she, in that article, it said that, that they were able to go to America during the war, mm. which the was Brooks. very handy if you could go, you know, if yeah. you could get out of the country like as such. How did, would, how did the fish oh, oh. there? Sorry, what are you saying, Tom? Did they, go, did they go to America? To America, yeah, during the war. Yeah. They were able to well, go to America. Yeah. How did this change that? Well, you see, the, 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 the knight was in a wheelchair, and the story goes that the local IRA went into burning the castle. This is very clear now, because we're, we're pretty confused about that with a wheelchair, with that, what they do with the horse. Oh, yeah, about, yeah. Yeah. And he, said he, 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 was married, he was married to the Dana, Ella Dunraven's sister, who died in 1901. Yeah. She brought him 10,000 into the castle, and the castle was um, like the, 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 the estate was broke, was broke because the yeah. previous fellow was previous, the big knight was a, a drunkard and a, he was depressed. And uh, well, you'd have to go back to the, the, the knight of the women, he died in 1854. Then the next night, the mad knight took over. And, what do you mean? Hold on, you jumped over and said the knight of the women, what you said, the women. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Well, Ritter and the Mon was his name. It was the name given to him. Um, he oh, was there. Why? why was that given to him? Well, he was, uh, he had, uh, as Canon Begley said, he was fond of his oriental proclivities. He was, uh, he, he had a soft touch for the women. Oh, lovely. And yeah. he, had loads of, he had loads of uh, illegitimate children. And oh, okay. I, I don't know how he got from the War of Independence onto. I will really come around to that. I know what you said now. No, you know, no, but I, I, the reason I'm going back. No, I, I, he had several. Like he died in 1854. In 1850, he was born and said he was he was in, in his sixties when he died, and he he was fathering children right up to the very end. You know, illegitimate children. Um, his wife. He was married to a, 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 a rector's daughter, and she went back to England. And in and 1833, he promised if she came back, he'd be he you know, he'd behave, behave himself. And uh, she had, you, you had a Birchwood House, this Kahara House and Birchwood House, who were the very built on the same plans. Hmm. And the, the story went that they knocked Birchwood House because it was confusing the people going up and down the river. But the real, the real reason locals say it is it was a body house, it was a, a brothel, he used to keep his um, mistresses there and, and in the lodge beside the, the church. Uh, but he was, it's, it, it's documented in loads of, there's court cases and uh, even the policeman rode to Dublin because he couldn't, like, he was afraid. It's like a, a, a guard that's stopping a judge, you know, do you want to, you know, do you want to drink or transfer? Like, well, move along so, that's great. So anyway, no, but the thing is, like, the, the local policeman was, was afraid because he was the local magistrate and um, he's carry on, like, but, um, but he was, like, strangely, you know, People say, how do women support Trump? Uh, he, you know, despite all his activities, the tennis loved him. He was, he was, he was adored. Like, and he died 
1854 uh, in the workhouse, giving soup to the, his tenants, you know, helping out the workhouse. And I don't think there were many landlords who um, who did that, like, and, and you know, uh, the, the, you're asking, but it comes back to how the house survived. I think there was a general, you know, respect of, of, of the Knight of Glen. Uh, but he was father. Then when he died in 1854, the crack knight, all the knights have names, the crack knight took over. He was totally mad. You know, I mean, he was just, he took over, he had followed on his father in the workhouse, but he was obsessed with um, Potts' pose. Like he used to measure the pose and uh, um, he used to put them on, on fellas' heads and make sure that they were big enough and all this sort of nonsense. And he used to ride horses upstairs and he, he was just mad. And, um, but he, he let this estate go from rack to ruin uh, and he let people, you know, not pay their rent and fishermen were fishing where they shouldn't be on the shore and he lost all the rights to the... Uh, and then the big knight took over in the 1860s and he tried to restore, you know, and like when fellas, when, when people have free reign in a, an estate, it's very hard. Like if you, if you let people go without their rent and don't collect your rent for a year and then go back start collecting it, he, you know, uh, and uh, but he 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 had police protection then because he was threatened by the local land league and everything, and he got in trouble with the land league and uh, there was a lot of trouble in eighteen eighty six, and he took to the drink, and um, he uh, eventually died in eighteen ninety six, and then his son the wheelchair knight took over, and he married the elder Dunra uh, Dunraven's daughter, and she died in childbirth in nineteen o one. So, but the wheelchair knight was there during the War of Independence. And the story goes that uh, they came back with petrol uh, the, to burn the, the Glen Castle. And the knight Glen told him he, should, he was in his wheelchair and they said to him, get out. And he said, if you're going to burn it down, you're going to have to burn me as well, boys. So they, they decided to go back down to the local pub to reconvene to see what would they do. And they got drunk and that was the end of the... Uh, but they maintained that there was, there was a lot of shortage at the time, and that the, the night used the um, petrol to to heat the house, you know. Yeah. But and uh, how why was he in a wheelchair? He got a stroke. Oh yeah. Uh, the, the, I'd say after the wife died, he kind of got a, you know, because yeah. uh, uh, now he got he got the money, he got ten thousand pounds. So there was no question of him paying it back or anything. Like you know, it's a, a big dowry at the time. So, uh, but anyway, that's how survived. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, but I'd say wheelchair, no wheelchair. If they weren't uh, well thought of, you know, if there was tradition wasn't there, what would it have been? Yeah, direct him, him out. Yeah, direct him out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Direct him out, yeah. yeah. It's amazing that there's some of the houses, but uh, get back to we sat down talking about Carl Gilmore. Carl yeah. Gilmore is in ruins, and yeah. uh, it's a pity, really. It's a beautiful house. It must have been in its time. Yeah. The picture that's in the leader of it. Was taken by Stan Short, yeah. Who didn't do it? We said the last night, got, got to know in his latter yeah, yeah. days because Stan yeah. Short seemed to go around in a bicycle cycle and took pictures of lots of the houses that have gone out, yeah. And really, they, even the, the shells that have gone somewhere, you know, some of yeah, the houses. Yeah. And Stan yeah. Short was able to collect and uh, take pictures of these houses. And then yeah. the, the city library, those pictures, no, a museum. The museum, so I mean, sorry, the museum, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he's the chemist, yeah. Stuart's yeah. chemist is there, no comments, please. Yeah, yeah, where, um, yeah, where, where, where Clancy's used to be, yeah, number 50, the corner, the corner yeah. of, Ces of Cecil Street, and, and yeah, just Street. number 54, yeah, the, number 54. Yeah. Uh, Stuart, yeah. I remember Stuart's chemist there, that's that, yeah, that's well, kind of a thing. <laughs> when you get older, it's that said 50 years ago, so that's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you'll forget. Uh, you. when, I, when I was young, I remember hearing a fellow was talked to four, and I thought, God, he's ancient, you know, like, talk to four. <laughs> and, you know, like. And actually, looking at the register, the, 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 the deaths in the brick, uh, yeah. uh, which I, I was doing it every night this week, looking at deaths. Um, mm. It's amazing how young people died. Oh, yeah. You know, God, the amount of them like down, you know, and you look, mm. there's so many that I knew, were, and uh, as we discussed last week, I think the week before, what a pity the proper addresses are down. Yeah. You know, right. Yeah. 
as opposed to Barrington's Hospital in the city yeah. home and the work uh, like, like the, yeah. The, but but it, see, a, lot, a lot of people like in the last days went into the the workhouse or the host, which is local hospital, yeah. just to uh, to get respite, and then. They are, they, they, sometimes their address is given, but not. The, they might put down fines or lahal, yeah, but yeah. they wouldn't put. You know, but if if it's a name like Burke or O'Brien, it's very hard to identify it. Then, like, very hard. I found my father now. Did you? And luckily, it says Prospect on it. Oh didn't yeah. Give, didn't give them an avenue on it now. What year was that? Uh, 1952. Was that a bit nice? What the avenue's they were, but they never, we, again, we started off talking about Frederick Street. The avenues were used, but they were never, the older people, you see, were still on using the old towns. Yeah. yeah the back road, now, the, the South Circular Road was always known when every show was the back road. And people would yeah. say, I'm going up as far as the back road. And you knew they were going to the South Circular Road. And mm. it has taken so long for that to die out. Borden yeah. Avenue was Sea Road. And you know, all these avenues that were known, uh, but some of them, we got uh, new roads you've done now, and some of them maintain new roads, like Tumigas, for example. The yeah. new road in Tumigas has still survived. Yeah, yeah. Like we started off talking about the new street above. Mm. Some of them never got wrong to names, but yeah. after them, they used the older name, and some of them but had see, the new name. But um, see, I'll go back to explain there, you mentioned about New Street. Like the, the new, when, when Newton Perry was built, they, they, they linked the road out then to take it out towards Mungret. And then when that got as far as Punch's Cross, they needed to join the South Circular Road and the New Road up to the, so that that's why it was called the New Road, New Street, New because it was joining so it was joining the existing South Circular Road with the the new the new. Road, and I'm sure there are there are people that um come when they see New Street years ago. They say, I wonder has it changed? <laughs> has it has it yeah. a new name now? <laughs> you know, yeah. whereas it's still it, it never changed at this stage now. No, no, no. No. Maybe we could start the campaign, could we? Could yeah. I get that after myself? Could I? You know? Trump, <laughs> Trump, Trump Street. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want, to, if you really want to cause controversy, you know. <laughs> could yeah, we, yeah. Could I wonder could I get any, 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 any the, the councillors on my side? To call yeah. it Trump Street, you know. Yeah, yeah. You know? And, and, yeah, yeah, and yeah, the house would be Biden Terrace, couldn't they? What? Biden Terrace. Yeah. yeah. Biden Terrace, New Street. Where you live in 14 Biden Terrace, New Street. Yeah. You know, a Trump Street. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're kind of good, you know. We, are, we, are, we already have one civil war. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I saw, I was watching the uh, television and uh, when they had the inauguration of Joe Biden. They went yeah. up to um up to the unknown soldier up to, to Arlington. Yeah. And Arlington, God's a beautiful place. And about I think there's there's is it 90 or 100 acres, I think, of ground there for the, the other soldiers that are buried. Yeah. But the unknown soldier, I mean, we discussed this a little bit before another program, mm. that the amount of bodies that are in that tomb, they didn't they didn't know who they were from the Civil War. They just yeah. Dumped them in there, you know, they're not a choice really, because yeah, yeah. Arlington, and that was the biggest desecration, they, well, to me anyway, that they could have done to the South was yeah. to call, that was what's his name, Robert D. Lee's house, Arlington, yeah. and to put a graveyard in his house, you know, yeah. demolish the house and put a graveyard. I mean, yeah. that's really putting the rubbing his nose and it all together, you know, because yeah, yeah, yeah. people often wonder where the name Arlington comes from. But it's great yeah. to see that they went there the other day to lay a yeah. read. At the, at the unknown soldier, and to see all the headstones, I'd love to see Arlington. I've never been, and it's so close yeah. to. I think it took about uh, fifteen minutes, twenty minutes to drive from Capitol Hill from up to Washington. up yeah. to from up to Arlington. You know, it's yeah. so very close. She's only about yeah. I think it's only about about two miles out uh, out the road from uh, from Washington, because yeah. uh, it shows you how far up the south it got at the time during the yeah. American Civil War. They were on their way to New York, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, yeah. They barely held them back. That uh, yeah. if if if, um, if Lee had had more troops with him and uh, yeah. more 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 finance behind him, he'd have made it nearly to Washington. Yeah, I know. I know. We mentioned that doc the Ken Burns documentary is fantastic. Oh, it's know, fantastic. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, for an understanding of the of the Civil War, like I, I, I knew bits about the Civil War, but really to see. The, you know, the, the tactics and the, the different... Oh, yeah. You know, the yeah. various things. I remember this be series on television now, which meant nothing to me, um, The Virginian. Yeah. And 
what's his name, DJ Cobb, the, the ranch that they walked in was Shiloh. Oh, and yeah. I'd never known what it had got to, that where the name, I just had to make you up in him. And then I discovered yeah. there was a battle of Shiloh. That's right. Yeah. Civil War. Yeah. It was dreadful what happened yeah. to Shiloh, you know, oh, yeah. and the wilderness. Yeah. And there were so many battle sites, you know, that's. Well, I, I don't think. Like, I don't think they, there are been a few books, you know, but they were scratched to the surface on the Irish involved in the they Civil War. Yeah. 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 I and mean, both, both sides. Yeah, yeah, both sides, yeah. you know. And, and uh, you know, like, like it, it'd make a huge volume, like, but, you know, I, I, I got a book one time in Dublin, so, so, but it wasn't some of the people involved in, this, in the Civil War, but it, it, there might have been a hundred, but it was nothing like, you know, I mean, there was thousands of Irish, you know. Well, so you do yeah. before I discussed with you that a uh, general, uh, was he major or general, Claiborne, who came from yeah. County Cork, yeah. He was down the yeah. south, you know, yeah. and he he came from a well-ended family down near, um, not far from Inchigila. And yeah. And she said, that, oh God, I said, two, can I hold you a minute, two things to say. First of all, I should tell people, that little church behind me there, because I was asked yeah. last week, uh, during the week about it, that that's the little church at Gugan Barra, down there in Chigila, it's at the me yeah. there, you know? And that's uh, reputed to be the foundation of um, of St. Finba, where he set up his yeah. monastery. Now, Padre Goreen went and agree with me, but yeah. he, about St. Finba. But uh, yeah. this is where he's reputed, it's a beautiful place, Gugan Barra. Like, we talk about it some other night, the Terror yeah. Majesty, you know, yeah. and, and Buckley, you know, but anyway, uh, to be Buckley. But the second thing I want to say is don't forget we're here with that. Uh, we're both founders of the, of the Limerick Historical Society. And uh, we're, uh, my name is Tony Brown, and this is Tom Donovan with me. And we're here on learmedia.tv if you want to get in touch with us. Or you can go just to Lear Media TV as well. You don't need your little dot, which is YouTube channel. And don't forget to subscribe. Press the little button down in the corner of your thing as a subscriber to the station. It doesn't cost anything. It's just a kind of a numbers thing uh, to, to let us know here and there that you're, uh, you're watching. If anybody wants to get in touch with, with me or Tom, get in touch to our website, Liberty Historical Society, if there's questions you want. And so there's a few any times that you sent to me. And, yeah. uh, but uh, we'll, we'll try and answer if we can. And uh, if there is any questions on history, or if there's something you want us to discuss in general, let us know because we're here only waffling. Uh, what did he say? The winging of prayer. We're, uh, we're winging it here all the time. And we're bluffing our way severely. We're not, um, we're not professionals. And uh, yeah. none of us have, uh, how was it you don't have a doctorate uh, in, in uh, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm heading that way. I'm going to yeah. <laughs> when, when you read my debt, when you read my debt, there's to be more letters on it. Than, oh than yeah, more, more letters in the CIE P70 is <laughs> and RT <laughs> after letters. I know when one time he did about three hundred letters after his name. I know when he could be making them up. You know, <laughs> here he filled up the phone book with him. <laughs> but sorry, Tom, we're all about Claiborne. Claiborne's house is near. There's another place there. Oh, Calliginima. Calliginima. That's yeah. what it is. That's where the house is now, isn't far from there. It's still there. The Claiborne house is still, yeah. still standing. I, was, I, I, was, I mentioned that because of the, um, the, the, the Black Lives Matter campaign and they were, they were giving out about the Cork uh, hauling supporters mainly using the flag. The, the, the Confederate uh, flag, yeah, yeah at, at their matches, and like people didn't realize why Cork were, were kind of, they were, and it was all in honor of, of Claiborne, but people thought that they were being uh, <laughs> racist, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it just shows how, like, I, I, I think it's great. The flag, you know, it's it, it's part of history, you know, I mean, it's like, why should. Why should People not not fly a flag, you know. I mean, like everybody, is, you know, because but they, they try to stop each other all the time. The Confederate flag, and then it's yeah. history to a lot of them down there, and and the yeah. southern states, you know, yeah, and yeah. Uh, the thirteen states that are that, that well, are like, represented. Like if, you, flag. if you try if you try to stop the Union Jack uh, uh, in the north, like I mean, you know, yeah, uh, th th yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> or 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 the tricycle, tri 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 like they don't want either, you know. Yeah. I mean, it's part of the tradition, and similarly, you know, the 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 the, the 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 flag to the southern states, like, is just, you know, the Union flag is just 
part of their history. But oh well, yeah, but you know. it's amazing. I'm I'm intrigued as to Tabor and as to why why did he get involved with the South? Yeah. You know, I don't know. Well, he must have economic interest. That's the, yeah. like that's the way, you know. Um, that's it. Now I understand some of the soldiers that would have joined up on either side for money. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but oh, the, yeah. the the southern money then was useless at one stage. It became yeah. completely useless because yeah. uh, the bank uh, Richmond uh, the, the notes are intriguing even to look at. They're so flimsy yeah. and old, you know. But mm. and they're, they're, they're fetch high prices to do some of them. But yeah. like that, they they had no money. The south they were not money hand over fist, would it say? You yeah. know. Yeah. And you got these notes that were redeemable as Richmond only, which was. I wonder how did Peter Tate get paid? You wonder what's he yeah. paid? He seems to have been paid because he went out. Yeah. He went yeah. out, I think it was a three. He ran two blockades, I think, at Savannah, yeah. getting in yeah. goods. And I don't yeah. think he'd have went across the Atlantic the whole way if he wasn't getting money. Did he no. get southern money, obviously? Did he get yeah. some kind of um, that foreign currency? Did he get, I doubt if he got gold. There's no. nothing else he could have taken back. Yeah. You know? So yeah. he must have gotten some kind of cash. I Who don't think. Yeah, unless who's collecting the cash? Unless he took cotton or something, I don't know. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. But who actually collected this? We'd like to know as well. Yeah. You know, did he yeah. send, like, who, who came back with the money to him? Yeah, but I mean, even, apart from the Civil War, it's something I often thought about. You know, like, you wrote an article there about the Shannon and, and his dealings in America. Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, yeah like, and, and the Omaras and Bacon, like, you know, nowadays you can click a button, you can transfer money in, on on a computer. But those days, like you were taking chance of giving people credit, waiting. You know, it's taken so long to travel. Yeah. Then if somebody went to just for argument's sake with your marriage now, I mean they went all over Europe. Yeah, and even Russia. somebody went to 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 Germany, he wasn't mm. coming back tomorrow. You no. know, he wouldn't be yeah. back for at least two or three weeks. Yeah, was yeah. he? What, what was he doing? With bills of exchange, obviously. But how would all these yeah. paid? You know, go back into the 18th century, like the Roaches were dealing with uh, Rotterdam and all over Europe. Like, you know, it was, you know, there was commerce going on all the time. And, yeah. uh, and I don't think it was battle. There, there had to be money involved. Well, there was really money, yeah. But even that, yeah. you can go back further to the Arthurs when they brought in wine. You know, yeah. wine for That's fact. right. Yeah. Yeah. Wine yeah. 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 You know, yeah. uh, what's his name down in Rutland Street? Um, the O'Brien's. Yeah, Packer O'Brien's called it at the Sarsfield Bar down the corner. They want the wine yeah. that they brought in there through the which is now the Hunt Museum, the Custom House. People forget that. Yeah. That was the yeah. main port, was bringing stuff in mm. there. And they want the wine they brought in. I doubt if they got it out as we remember the San Apro, you know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, had, they, they had an underground cellar, but was there a tunnel yeah. under the road? I don't think so. Yeah. If big cellars are right, going out under the main road. Yeah. But I think yeah. it's never done up, you know. Yeah. It's the pub, yeah. the pub right on the corner of Bank Place and um, yeah. and Rutland Street. That yeah. the cellars are down underneath and out under the road, the cellars mm. go. Because the amount of wine, they weren't bringing in, like, they had to bring in such big quantities because, like, again, it's going to take a long time. So they yeah. couldn't bring it in for more supplies next Friday. You know, like yeah. you couldn't do now. You could really, you know, as you know, you can ring today and have it in the morning. Well, it's there to bring in massive amounts of. Uh, that's that's why you had the that's why you had the bonded warehouse at the back then, where the granary is. The granary, uh, yeah. Club, that was beside the custom house as well, so you, you couldn't. I mean, you did you could. It's it cut down transportation. You brought it in, you cleared it, and put it into your bonded warehouse and kept it there. You know. But the amounts that they had to bring in in one go. Oh yeah. Ship because yeah. you didn't pay otherwise to have no. a ship coming in. You couldn't have it coming in with three barrels. Whereas yeah. the HL and all those now can bring in different types of goods. You know. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. as you know, that time the ship was mainly full of barrels, you know, yeah. and then you had seepages and leakage and damage. And, yeah. you know, yeah. it's very hard to, to control the, the whole yeah, disease, yeah. you know, the amount I mean, of cars that were done. But from the time, like even the dockers, the old people tell me, but the size of the barrels and the bags has come off the boats, like. Yeah. And uh, I remember Bernard Stack back to me again telling me when he was young, seeing big uh, 14 stone bags coming off the boat. And he said, there was a small man there, a local man, who walked in. And he'd go under it. And he said, you wouldn't see him. All you see no, was the legs. I knew a man. I knew a man that actually lived near me, walked in ranks. And I remember mm. him lifting bags, you know, yeah. to see him there, to lift two bags on his back. You know, yeah. signs yeah. on, they suffered to their backs. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. they got older. They were crippled. They got gold, you know? arthritis, and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. I remember uh, my uncle, two marriage, Josie Maloney, 
he was deaf in ranks because there's nothing, no protection on the ears. No, no. Dust, dust yeah. mainly, get yeah. into their yeah. ears. They yeah. had a little mask, kind of a little aluminium thing with a piece of paper inside it for their mouths. Mm. And they, half the time they didn't even wear that. Yeah. You know, little, I remember it being a kind of half of them regretted and keep one little silver little mask just barely covered the mouth. Yeah. Very handy now, wouldn't it? Oh, very very <laughs> 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 you, know, yeah. you could sell them now for enough, you know. Yeah. But, <laughs> but you think of it like that, that those conditions were unreal, you know. Oh, yeah. Like that men carrying carrying bags, you know, my father was a doctor as well, and the, mm. and the coal boats come in, you know, yeah. and you had to, had to yeah. carry sacks of coal yeah. in your back. But yeah. even, I, I remember um, another man telling me, who died only a few years ago, he died fairly young actually, delivering coal, and he said, I remember there were certain houses that he hated delivering he didn't go to because they you had to go into the into the hall and down in well, into the house to go down to the cellar. You know, yeah. there was no there was no outside, yeah. It is all in your yeah. back, you know, yeah. playing a, yeah. a, a bag of coal. Many, many hundred weights are in that, but we should be talking yeah. in kilos now, you know. But there was eight stone bags, but there was also 14 and 16 stone bags. Like uh, I, I think meal came in bigger bags because you know, I mean, it's the same weight, but I suppose disease are carried in coal. Oh, but, um, but, but, but I remember Bella Sex said he was like a two a two foot of centipede. All you see was the bag coming up uh, out of the boat, like, and he walking along with uh, co covering him. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. But I, as you as you said, like they paid for it. Like there was no health and safety. In, no, no. You know. there was no osteopaths or whatever. What to call them? You couldn't go. Yeah. You couldn't go to one of them to lay down. The only cure is a black tongue stick to keep you <laughs> straight. You <laughs> couldn't lay down. I had a man brought me. I had trouble one time in my back. I think I went to a and a fellow brought me out to a house to a fellow, you know, and he was laying down the floor. He said, I came out. I couldn't walk. Yeah. I came out. I was crippled, yeah. you know. Yeah. I forget. I forget how much money you gave him anyway. Yeah. It doesn't work it anyway, you know. I know yeah. I don't even want to see him again, you know. Yeah. Uh, he was supposed to have a, a kind of a gift, you know, a kind of a yeah. gift. I gave him a gift, all right, you know, whatever I gave him. But I was crippled. Put me down on the floor and in the kitchen. You know, yeah. I was sick with half the time. Well, there's, I, lot, there's a lot of those fellas around, but I think their their books are diminishing because I uh, like people who tell you, oh, I went, I paid so many different, I had an operation, that's what cured yeah. me. But I, I don't, like, I'd rather get my x-ray done and get it done properly, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> don't wonder like with some of these people you know like, <laughs> uh, the physical terrorists don't spend four years in college for nothing <laughs> <laughs> oh god we're digressing because it's, yeah. I think it's you really tend to finish up Tom, but we're, we're talking we're, we're, we're well over the hour we're well over the hour <laughs> we have to get a little bell there's a clock in the yeah. wall and I keep forgetting to look at it you know yeah, yeah. it should be up in front of me there I can watch it better so yeah. anyway Tom to thank you again for uh, coming on and uh, talking and as we said before this is um, um, the Limerick Historical Society we have, to, we have to wait till we're back in action again God only yeah. knows when I don't think it's God even know when I wonder you know oh. but yeah. when I'm uh, I said Lira Lira L-I-R Lira Media dot tv or Lear media tv which is uh, uh one of them is youtube you'll find it if you start to go for it and yeah, tell yeah. people out there because a lot of people don't know we're on really and mm. uh we'll have to wait till these programs start going out live and we'll be yeah. better than with the live you know and mm. uh, we'll be able to tell people because we had a great listenership before and it's yeah. an interest to get people interested in local history and if we could yeah. only get young people interested yeah. uh, i got into trouble before but for saying that they needed to be over 40 before we were interested in, in local history, you know. Mm. But again, anyway, Tom, to thank you for okay. coming on. And I have to find this button now to kind of cut you off, you know. Yeah. But uh, we'll talk again in short time, we hope, next week. You okay. Know?